Hi, Leslie. Hello. Now I'm unmuted. I'm also <laughs> going to sign in on the bigger screen, too. I don't know that it's necessary, but you'll see me signing in shortly. Yeah, I'm going to, I've had a lot of, I, I'm going to sign in on my phone and my screen, too. And do it. Nice to just have one meeting tonight. Oops. Yeah. I don't know how you do it all. Here comes everybody. Oh my goodness, my, I'm going to turn my phone off. I think my computer's audio. No, it's my, it's mine. Hold on. It's. No, it, I have to keep my phone on as a backup. Okay. Is it, it stopped making that terrible noise, Leslie? It wasn't terrible. I, am I muted again? It wasn't terrible. Oh, I, that's right. I don't have a camera on this one, but I swear your something was coming on uh, in on a speaker over on Kevin's desk, but okay. No, I'm I have it's because I have it open in two ways. All right. Huh. Oh, this is me. The lower left corner is me as well. And this is me. Yeah. Hello. I have to say I'm, I'm working on the modules. They are challenging. <laughs> Very well, interesting. Try to apply them to the actual paperwork. There's a lot to it. I wasn't meant to do this in life. <laughs> what, the Zooming? You weren't meant to do Zooming in life? I wasn't meant to be an assessor's clerk. <laughs> well, you must have done something wrong. <laughs> it's actually, it's interesting. It's really interesting. It's so important. Yeah, very detailed regulations. Yes. And, and the, the, the statistical stuff that it's like, whoa, I, I read it over and over. It's, it's and that's why we have consultants. Hi, Howard. Yes. Hi. And Hi, Howard. Every, everybody saw George can make it tonight. No, I didn't see that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I need, I'm not at my house and I need the password to the Wi-Fi. Hold on one, one, one second. I'll be right back. 
Elaine? How did you get on Zoom? Yeah. Oh, big <laughs> She's clearly on Zoom, so she clearly had the password somewhere. It's pretty full agenda, Leslie. It's going to go quickly. Everybody's got all the documents. They've read every one of them. They understand them all. And that's it. Yep. Good job. You can borrow it. Okay, I got it. Okay, I'm on it. We can hear you guys. Don't you know? Oh, yeah. You? Oh, oh, I need a helper. <laughs> yeah, you're not cheating. He's missing dessert. <laughs> uh oh. No, we were having dinner together, and this was important. Yeah, it is important. It is. And Emily told me today she read somewhere that they're working on extending Zoom even longer. Good. Oh, good. Wow. wow. More than two years? Wow. I'm sure you'll be thrilled, Becky, but <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us will be. Let me try it again. Where is it? Where is it? Right. So where yeah. is it? Oh, mine. You're on. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're good. You're good. All right. And thank you for sending all that stuff, Leslie. That was impressive. Well, it should have come a lot earlier than Wednesday noon, but it got to you. Thank you. It makes it easier to if everybody's got everything in front of them. And how are you, Howard? I'm fine. I'm good. We've all got technology back, it looks like. Yep. Okay. So can we, let's open the meeting. Okay. I second that. Uh, first item on the agenda is the meeting minutes from February 15th. Um, April, have you had a chance to look at them? Yes, I did. And they okay. looked fine to me. Okay, so I move we accept those. And I will second that. Okay. Uh, the meeting, the minutes are approved. Uh, the second item are February's accountant reports. Uh, Leslie? Okay. Uh, I wish I'd written, printed out the copy of the note I sent to you. Sent you. Uh, the accountant reports are in there for you to see. Uh, the motor vehicle was extensive because it was the first commitment. And I think you, I sent a note explaining that rebuilds are Tax, motor vehicle excise um, tax bills that came to us from the registry. And we know those people have moved to other towns. And so we uh, abate them in full and send the bills to the other towns and the other towns then what they call rebuild and other towns that get bills that where people have moved into Shootsbury send them to us and we rebuild them. It's, it's kind of a, <laughs> I'm guessing the big cities and towns just accept any money they get and wait for people to say, I don't live here anymore, I'm not paying the bill. But this is small town the way we do it. Uh, it the exemptions, I think you, uh, there's a, a whole page of exempt vehicles, those are our town vehicles, mm -hmm. and they're broken down so you can see just what that we have for town vehicles. Then the, uh, each 3ABC entity is eligible for one vehicle exemption. Anybody who's legally blind who owns a vehicle is entitled to an exemption. And uh, that that's, there is one state, Deere, it says, I think it must be a John Deere tractor or lawnmower that mm -hmm. is also exempt. So, uh, Th those uh, I'm assuming you will approve for us. They're straightforward. Uh, Ellen gives me the information. I turn around and mm -hmm. process it and give it all back to her. And um, any questions or can you just vote to approve the accountant so I, report for February? 
So I move to accept the accountant uh, report for February 2023. Around the motor vehicles, yep. Yep. Okay, I second it. So there's a total of $4,001.06. That's for the town of Shootsbury alone. Uh, okay. the, the grand total for all of the vehicles uh, uh, for February, maybe I didn't send that one to you. Oh my goodness. I'll be going into that in, um, in um, my Excel thing while it makes sure what I've got for the total total. Okay. Uh, while you guys move on to uh, the, the one for the real property tax abatements that were done in February, mm -hmm. uh, there were two and uh, the total for that was 724.69. That's Kevin and Spry, right? That's correct. Okay. okay. And I saw the, I saw the spreadsheet for all the Shootsbury vehicles. Okay, I saw that. Yes, yes. Okay. But and what I'm looking for is the total, what April's asking for is that, that Shootsbury vehicles alone was the $4,001, mm -hmm. but all of the exemptions, uh, abatements and exemptions for February, I did not send to you yet. And hopefully I can just, uh, I'm trying to concentrate on two things at once. I'm trying to go to, um, I make sure, you know, I, my brain is not 100%. Hey, town administrator. You're, hey, not, you're on, okay. I'm in an assessor's meeting. <laughs> You're 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 on. You're oh, new. and am I ignoring you? Because I wasn't expecting. I'm sorry, George. I'll let you in. I promise. Oh, that's George. Oh, okay, he did make it. Oh, and oh, Joanna oh. Hall is here too. Who? Joanna Hall. Hi, Joanna. That's where. I was busy looking at all Leslie's documents. Sorry, guys. Um, for April and Howard and George's benefit, mm -hmm. the uh, total for all of the February abatements was $5,868.51. And I'll be glad to send out copies of that document after the meeting. Yeah, but that would be good. It included the $4,001 for the uh, town uh all the rebills i'm so sorry that i didn't send it it's probably right in my support documents file too and i just missed it and uh, it's the all everything for the month of february okay do you want us to do you want us to approve yes, everything please. now yeah yeah okay it's, it's okay. all straightforward ellen gets it, it gets okay. it from the registry she gives it to me i process it send it back to her she's looked it all over but you guys approve it okay so the thing that uh april just moved and i seconded did, did that cover everything you need or do we have to do something else well i think you two just approved the uh accountant report for the real estate abatements Yep. And I asked you to do that while I looked for the document for the motor vehicle accountant report, which I inadvertently did not send to you. You could have had yet another attachment. And okay. I am going to send it to you after the meeting. Yeah, that's fine. That. That's good. Okay, that's it, fine. It is a public document and anybody who wants it can have it. Okay. Huh. Hi, George. Hello. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. Um, could you read the motion again? Hi. Hi. Uh, could you read the motion again? And I want to ask um, $5,000 for the month of February. That's because you have deadlines for abatements now. That's not an average month. This is an exceptional month. This is an exceptional month. Uh, what I had said was it was the, the uh, exemptions and abatements for the 
first commitment. So everybody's getting their tax bill, their, their motor vehicle excise tax bill. They're saying, I don't own that car anymore. And then they call and we say, well, you have to cancel your registration and then send us that and send us your bill of sale and we'll abate the mm -hmm. remainder of the year. Yep. It has $4,001 worth of exempt town of Shootsbury vehicles on it. It has one exempt state tractor on it. If you're blind, you are eligible for uh, one, one motor vehicle exemption. If you yep. are, are a three ABC entity, you're also available for motor vehicle exemption. So that one is, the first one is always the big one. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to know because we have an overlay of $40,000 and I'm thinking if it's 5,000 a month, we're gonna blow right through that. Right. <laughs> nope. Not even close. Not even close. No, nope. okay, this is the big one. Okay. So we have done the, have we made the motion and I don't, I, we did the real estate. I don't know if you had any questions about the real estate, Feb, the accountant report for February for real estate abatements, George. No, I'm fine with it. I was looking at the documents, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm giving the meeting back to Howard then. Okay. So, so we've done real estate and motor, motor vehicle. Are you all approving the motor vehicle one? Yes. Yes, it'll, I approve. It'll, it'll be written up I, I, I. I, 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 yes. <laughs> I, I, I. I, I, I. And the final one for, for accountant reports is the CPA. Okay. Where's that? Okay, and I move we approve the CPAs. And I'll second that. Let's look at that. So okay. that's for 55 West Pelham Road? No. No, oh, no, we're not. not that. No, no, no. That that's CP. It's coming up. It Where's is for it's two properties, 034 and ZB81. Yeah. $35, $34.99. Yep, I got it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> CPA abatements and exemptions are um 3375 for uh, 62 Leverett Road, which was just someone who was getting the exemption on it, and a dollar twenty-four for Nine Haskins Way, which was the additional abatement that Kevin Rudden got yep. for CPA. And the yep. total for that is thirty-four ninety-nine. Yeah. So have we had a number of people, would it be going through abatements, people who qualify through the, the circuit breaker? Um, That's coming up this summer. I still have to learn about that. I still okay. have to find applications. My understanding, Becky can fill me in, fill you in of it too, but my understanding is other towns send those applications out around the beginning of July. They have to have them back in time for the tax rate setting because it impacts the tax, tax rate. rate. That's right. But I know nothing more than that. So I'll, I'm lucky I got through the exemptions <laughs> that we had that voted in this year, this month, <laughs> one month at a time. <laughs> okay, so, so that's coming. That's coming. Okay, good. That'll be for fiscal year 24. This is fiscal year 23. Right. Okay. <sighs> Any other questions? So we're going to move on to eight of 58 now. Uh, well, uh, well, I we, assume that's III to approve the. Yeah, all right. Yes. So Arbonite is I. Stein I. Okay. Howard? Okay, so I'm sorry, my hearing's not great. Um, we're done with eight of 58, yes or no? No, I think everybody was just saying I for approving the CPA exemptions. Okay. Okay. And we're waiting for you to say I or no. I. Okay. okay. Now we're moving on to the eights of 58. These are something where Ellen's done everything she can to mm -hmm. get people to pay. This does not excuse them from paying them. It clears her books. They're still in the collect the um, deputy collector's hands. 
if anybody wants to pay, we welcome the payment. Mm -hmm. uh, but it clears her book so she can move on and not have things from 10 years old. Right. Which so document is this, Leslie? Eight of 58. There's one for uh, 2020. Uh, they're pink. OK. Well, oh, they see. get them. Yep. I'm yep. not sure they're pink. Are they pink on yours, too? They are pink on ours, yes. I can't see the names until I, roll my, I scroll my cursor over it, but now I see them. Yeah. So for 2020 personal property taxes, Ellen is looking for uh, $60.10 to be uh, abated because it has yet to be collected. The okay. gentleman is dead, so, uh, deceased, so chances are we're not going to see it. It's not worth the cost of tracking it no. down, I'm sure. No, he's he's a, yes. And yeah. it looks like the, the other one for 2714 may have the same issue. Yeah, it's the same person, the same name, last yeah. name. Yep. Yeah, so he's equally dead there. And for 2022, <laughs> 20, <laughs> 20, uh, she's got her reason over there for 4366. So I don't know if you want to approve them all in one group or individually. I will go I, 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 however you guys want to do it. I will type it up, I, I, I. So I'll move that we approve these three abatements um, as one group. And it's all the same person, is that correct? No, the last one is a little bit different. The, the 22 is uh, the owner is in a nursing home, the husband is deceased, things are in limbo. Okay. And it's personal property on horses that went to other people when this happened suddenly. It was a very sorry situation. Oh, okay. I know that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let, yeah. Well, yep. I only, so the ones I see are all the same person. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think we have two copies of the one. Oh, oh we've got says, ones repeating. Yeah. It's 27 something. Okay. We have one. I think we're not seeing that third one for. Yeah, the horses one. I'm not seeing yeah. it. Mm. We have for 2020. We have a personal property for Walter Trebolsky. Yeah. Uh, for sixty dollars and ten cents. Yep. For 2021, we have a personal Recording property in progress. for. Walter Trubolsky for 2714. That's right. He's deceased. Right. And for 2022, we have Jean Footit for $43.66. Yeah. yeah what, we, I have two of the one for 27 some odd. Jean. Yeah, the two twenty the 2021 ones. I am really <laughs> sorry. I have to take oh, it okay. down to the uh copier which is i got them done i scanned them before it was broken but apparently i just, i didn't do it right it screen, that's Leslie. i can put it i will send it to you the scanner is broken so i'll probably just take a picture of it okay that's fine can you photo. just take take the screen and show us from your screen what it oh. looks like oh absolutely that's all i need i just need to see it i don't need to have a record of it in my no opinion. perfect just clipped everything back together again. Uh, 22, right here. Um, I, I don't have a camera on my uh, computer. This is my phone. You can see the name yep. and the amount. Yep. And Ellen's explanation. Yep. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'll second that motion. Okay. I approve. Okay, I, approve. I just got I, I, I. Stein, I. Have a nice I. Chapter I. Okay, the next one is exemptions and free ABC applications. Uh, on the final agenda, it may have come out to ABC, but that's my finger when I had to retype it into our town government, whatever I 
accidentally didn't catch it till later. There's no such thing as two ABCs, there are three ABCs. For the exemptions, uh, those applications are not public documents. Any assessor can come in and look at them at any time mm -hmm. individually, so you're not forming a quorum. Yeah. Uh, I, re I had my lesson from David Burgess, who was our consultant. I stayed here till 11 o'clock on one night all by myself. I sure. checked every single one against David's training, against Kathleen Colary, who is the, was the guru of DOR exemptions. And I wrote out in lay terms on every single motion for the town meeting exactly what they were. I felt really confident mm -hmm. that these are all correct, finally. And I think I have it ready for next year because I've written it out so I know. Yay. <laughs> See, we're, not, we're never too old to learn new things, right? Well, we're never too old to write longer. it down so next year next we don't have to do that again. <laughs> Chapter two, George. <laughs> So there were 10, so far, there have been 10 veterans exemptions, one blind, 541C, 137D, and eight Community Preservation Act surcharge okay. exemptions. And as I say, you're all more than welcome to look at them. Once again, it's not just me. It's something that Ellen will look at and mm -hmm. be sure if she sees anything that doesn't look right, she will let me know. I have great confidence in giving handing off my work to her <laughs> she's smart yes okay and experienced. and experienced yeah so it's a good team on the three abc applications howard did come in to take a look at him because he's been on for years and following their activities you do not have to approve them. And this is exactly what David Burgess said. He said, if just, he said, don't even bother to read them because some of them are an inch thick. He said, if, if they've submitted it, they're signing under pains of penalty of perjury that it's correct, it's okay. correct. Don't worry about it. So we got all four of them in, uh, except Camp Anderson, to the best of Becky's and my knowledge, is still one year behind they're making a big good progress that's right we talked about them last time yes we did. really really working at that yep. yep they they still have not as far as we know they still have not completed the one that was due here and if you'd like i can send a note thanking them for what we've got and letting them know we look forward to seeing the yeah i think that would be nice. nice yeah that sounds like a good idea yeah, it doesn't sound like there's any maliciousness. It's just it, it's taking oh, no. a while to get the paperwork done. That yeah. that's fine. I'm sure they're shorthanded. And it's not like they're not. It's they're definitely running a, a church camp. I go by the every all summer long, and I see the kids. And I see the <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It, it's a real deal. On. Yes. Yeah. Back on the exemptions, uh, you folks had given, well, not George, but Howard and April had given assessors and consultants approval in January meeting to yes. move forward with any, and if only if we had your questions. So I'm taking that as you have approved the all the 10 veterans exemptions, the one blind, the 541C, the 137D, and the eight CPAs. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now is real estate abatements and Howard, you can take over with that, I think. Okay, so we have just the one abatement left from last time, which is um, Bert Schwartz's house at 55 West Pelham. Oh, right. And uh, I just wanted to look at it a little bit more because mm -hmm. he was getting a large, an $80,000 bump in his assessment, which was uh, over 40%, which was a lot. That's more than most of the town is seeing. Right. So I just wanted to study it some. And uh, Leslie sent me some of the old property cards. Mm -hmm. And there are some changes from the old to the new property cards. Um, the main one is that in the old cards, the basement is unfinished. And in the new cards, the basement is half finished. So somewhere along the line, some work was done as far as we can't find a permit for it anywhere. Uh, and that mm -hmm. increases the assessment about $13,000. 
plus somebody increased the, the overall grade of the construction. So when you factor that those things in, mm -hmm. then the new assessment is much more in line with what the rest of the town is seeing. And I'm gonna recommend that we just approve David's, David's uh, recommendation for the abatement. Okay, so how much, let me see. So those, those two improvements up to the assessment for the house, $80,000? No. Well, most of the, the, most of the 80,000 mm -hmm. is say 50,000 roughly. 50,000 of that is uh, just market value that the market's gone up in the last year. That's okay. Right. Or two years, however, um, I think yeah, it's one. About twenty. That's, that's the adjustment that Roy Bishop made to everybody's property. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. And then you add the other third. That may okay. That makes sense to me. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you for that. Okay. So, uh, anybody have any more questions on this? I, so I I'm op I'm looking at a property tax abatement form that was sent to us and it shows his tax going down by six hundred and nineteen dollars. Is that what we're that's not what we're talking about though. You're talking about increased tax bill. So I'm, I'm talking what I'm talking uh what I'm I'm talking okay two different things. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about is the increase in his assessment from FY22 to FY23. Mm -hmm. Okay which is the eight, that's where the 80, even with the abatement, that assessment is gonna go up $80,000, okay? okay? The 619 that we're talking about mm -hmm. is the previous bill for FY23 that Bert Schwartz has already seen, and he's asking for an abatement from that high bill, from that bill, and that's the 619. Okay. So it's basically, we're reducing his FY23 tax bill by $619. Based on how are we doing that? This is some of my learning. Okay, we're doing that because his assessment is going, his assessment, original mm -hmm. assessment for FY23 was 305,000, I think wow. that's right. Okay. David is recommending that we drop the assessment down to 272,000, that's $33,000. Okay. That's where the 619 is okay. coming from. Got it. Because that fits more in, because what what kind of house that is. Okay. All right. But, but, but it's original, that's what you're wondering. Yeah. But where's the 80,000 that you mentioned come into all of this? Where's the 80,000? Is that, yeah, I'm sorry, you your mentioned. question again. Yeah. So you, you had mentioned that there was work done on his property that increased the value by 80,000. No. Oh, okay. No. I misunderstood. No, no it was thirteen thousand okay. dollars plus the market change at another fifty. Fifty and thirty is what Howard said. Yeah. Fifty for the market value, thirty for uh, improvements. Increase the value of his house by eighty altogether. Right. So that eighty brought it to three hundred five, but David said no. It's really more like two seventy. Right. Okay. All right. Now I get it. Thank you. Yep. And that's based on comparables within the community. Certainly. Yeah. We're reading that's that chapter. David, that is what David did. That is the sum. No, 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 no. That I, I, I trust that absolutely. Okay. And so he gets the abatement from the three hundred five to the two seventy two. That's what right. that is. Which, okay. okay. That yeah, I, I heard the value is going up, Where? and I seen the abatement bringing it down. That's why I asked those questions. All right. That makes yeah, sense. No, that's just helpful. Okay. We're learning. And now that we all have it. Yes. It's <laughs> uh, I, move we, I move that we accept David's recommendation. And I'll second that. And I'll say Stein I. Carpenter I. Okay. And and the CPA, that corresponding CPA was um oh boy, it's right here. Uh nine dollars and twenty-nine cents was taken off. For a, it's dropped from fifty six ninety to forty seven sixty. That was the second vote, okay. which I heard you say I I I too. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, right. you're right. Yes. Yeah. 
So it'll yep. always have to, the CPA will always have to be done separate from the um, property tax assessment. It seems that's how we do it in Shootsbury. I can't tell you about other towns, but that's how we do it. And she wants that's... it on a separate piece of paper too, mm -hmm. which makes, makes total sense. It, it's carefully done, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, so there is one more FY23 property tax abatement, which we are doing because the town of Shootsbury bought a private property on January 19th, was it? So, so all Pelham of Road? a sudden, the Pelham Hill Road R15 has become exempt. And so Ellen has asked for you folks, oh, and I don't think I sent this to you either. Yeah, I'm this not seeing it. Form. Um, I don't know if you can expand it on your screens to see it. Okay, let me pin it. Yep, I can see it. I don't know about that pin function. I can see it too. I learned something new today. <laughs> I've got Wendy Pearson's abatement, if that's what you're asking about. It's Wendy Pearson Care of Town of Shootsbury because oh, I have at that the one. beginning of I... the year, she still owned it. In the beginning of 22, she still mm -hmm. owned it. So it has to go through. Oh, yeah, I've this... got it. Yeah, I've got that one. We have it. 3154. 3154. Oh, 31... I sent it to you. Great. Yeah, yeah but for zero yeah, Pelham Hill Road. Yep. Yes. Yeah. It's property lot R15. Yep. And because we bought it, it's no longer taxable. My uh, my form says zero Pelham Hill Road. That's, That's correct. correct. All the, the only properties that have emergency E911 street numbers are driveways with buildings on them. There's no driveway with this. I'm still hoping that someday Things like, um, well, the Kestrel property down on my road gets a street number because you could have an emergency there just as well, and they're putting in a driveway. And when Kestrel comes around to putting in a driveway at Pelham Hill Road, a parking area, I'm hoping to somehow get to them and ask them to request a number for that one too. There's a few other places like the okay. dam really could have one. You know, there's some places that I think should. Mm -hmm. But that's not our business. Yeah, not yet. That's, that's just okay. Leslie's uh, too long as a town clerk business. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, I care about these things. I think it's important that everybody knows where emergencies are long, long before, you know. Okay. Okay. So real estate abatements are done. Okay. I have a couple more topics not mm -hmm. reasonably anticipated unless people have other questions first. One is to tell you that we already got the second motor vehicle commitment for a total of 14,836.02. So in answer to George's question, uh, they go, the commitments go right down and the number of abatements will go right down too. Uh, uh, what was the, the first commitment? I don't have it in front of me, but I think it was 175,000 or something like that, mm -hmm. maybe even more that you approved last month. And it's always been a standard practice for the board for uh, us to definitely review the first commitment with you and all the details of it, which I did in February. Mm -hmm. And then these littler commitments, just to keep the financial wheels rolling. Yep. Um, we get all the information from the registry and Ellen gives it to me. I, as I say, I turn it around and give it back to her. And, and then we make abatements and exemptions moving forward. So if you, don't mind us continuing that. It sure makes it a lot easier. And I will send you the information so that you see what's going on. Okay. So this $14,836.02 is to the is being added to our revenues. Correct. That's the yep. good news. Okay. That's the good news. Except <laughs> someone asked for 
actually, oh, that was the interesting thing. There is one new town vehicle on that second commitment, the Ford uh, and the amount. I don't the, know that I have the it. police chief's new cruiser. Yes. So um, I've already exempted that from it. I'd have to get the book to see. It was something like $500. Well, it was well, a, a $50,000 car. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So I can run and get the book and tell you the exact amount if you want, but you'll see it next month in the um, abatement, the accountant report. Okay. And uh, was there one more thing? Oh, we have, we have good news and better news. <laughs> First of all, Gail Fleischer came in and we went over every item on the assessor's webpage. All the links work, everything is organized. It's in proper grammar. Titles are above the items rather than below. It is sharp. So uh, awesome. thank you to Gail Fleischer. It took her two hours working to get it done. And she's awesome. Yes. So she, can she you thank her, thank her for us? <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm writing that down in April so I don't forget. Yeah. So if and I go to departments, assessors, I'm going to see it looks a little different. You're going to see it looks different and your name is there. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That's OK. It has to happen, I guess. These things oh, happen. Yeah, this looks good. Right. No, you're, it definitely looks You're beloved good. as it is, right? <laughs> All the applications are on the right hand side there, right below your names for anything yep. people want to do. And on the left hand side are the maps right at the top, which is what people want to know first. And then an explanation of the uh, five year review that we just went through uh, in the present tense rather than past tense, because now it's done or, or the past instead of the present, whatever. We got rid of the part about the week of review because that's past. And oh, all the guides that people might want to use are on the left hand side. Um, it's pretty spiffy. It's, it's the best I've ever seen it in my seven years here. And thank you, Gail. Yeah, it's That's got some great. good guides on it. Yeah, we, it always, we also always had some links that went, uh oh, or 404. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And she got to the bottom of all of them. That's one piece of good news. The yeah, other piece you, of yeah. Go good news is that uh, I've been gritting my teeth about our new mapping system that CAI Technologies bought out mm -hmm. Main Street Maps last spring. And the information just wasn't right in so many cases. And I finally got a hold of someone at CAI and learned that, first of all, there was a program that had been on the administrator's vision laptop that was the master for vision. And that program, when vision got moved over to this computer that I'm using, that program stayed with the laptop, which doesn't work anymore. And that program apparently shoots very every week. If we want weekly updates, I have to go in there. And he sent me the sheet how to do it. But uh, he also said that he would walk me through it the first few times. So I will have to myself proactively go in every time I've made changes. Maybe I'll do it monthly. I don't think I'm going to do it weekly. It used to be annually, um, and get him to walk me through. I have to create a report and vision, and then I somehow send it over to CAI Technology, and then it goes back and forth, and eventually, CAA the maps are updated. But it's not simple for me right mm -hmm. now. But but he updated every single field card, which had not been done since they signed us up. So, wow, that's so huge. Yeah, it, yeah. it was exciting. Yeah, there was a lot of hooting and hollering. 
<laughs> we have less of wild There's assessors, of, right? Another a lot of time, but some of these things, once I've done them once, it shouldn't be this much time in the future, I hope. And it's looking good. Oh, that's fabulous. Yep. It seems to be working um, better too. I mean, it's easy to go in there now. I haven't Things found come any right errors, up. but don't look too hard. <laughs> Oh, now we, we have a shot of fixing them. Well, if, and a, a bonus was every January, we're supposed to save every field card. We're supposed to save it on paper, but that hasn't been done in decades. So we have these digital files. And I asked David if he could do it for me. And he said, ask the IT department. So I asked Vision and I worked with them and I was almost there. And then this came up. And as he's managing my computer, I see that he's got the whole list. And I said, that's what I need. Can you save that for me? And so <laughs> he did that too. <laughs> that's um, fabulous. That's we, we, we kind of go uh, in the back door sometimes, but it's only March, but it's done. <laughs> fabulous. Awesome. Yeah, we're happy. That's it for me. Okay. So oh, I think somebody's got their hand raised. Yeah, I'm noticing. Okay, so we just Pat. need to schedule our next meeting. Is that right? Well, I don't well, know. There's somebody. Somebody here. wants Pat. to ask a question. I think. Yeah. Yes. Hi. This is Mary Lou Conka. My hand was up. I think my oh, name can be read. Um, I don't know if you're taking a comments or questions from the public or not. I'm not uh, sure who, who I'm addressing, who's- I guess you're addressing me because I'm, the, I'm yes. now I'm the chairman. How and do you do? Uh, I don't see any reason why we can't take a question. Thank you. So I have two questions, actually. I would like to know who is the um, town's new assessor since the last gentleman, I think it was Kevin Rudin or R-U-D-D-E-N, I'm not sure I pronounce it correctly, left. And then my second question, um, I heard talk about the um, police chief receiving a new vehicle. And I wondered if that is since the other new vehicle got purchased, because there was like a, a, a plain all white one that was brand new when um, I think it was Chief Harding. So thank you. Okay, uh, regarding our assessor. Uh, right now, we, we haven't replaced Kevin as a full-time employee. We've been using uh, two different consultants. And uh, one of them was previous, one of them is named David Burgess. He was previously the assessor in town several years ago. And another is just an independent consultant named Roy Bishop, um, who I'm not actually, I don't think he's ever actually worked for the town before. Mm -hmm. He's yes, he has. Before. Yes, he did. He's done a lot of work for the town. Well, at least he's two or three. Consultant. Yeah, we have a. He's a consultant. Um, as far as police cars go, that's pretty much outside of my purview. I can't tell you anything about yeah, police cars. I can. I can actually address that from the perspective of the finance committee. And I yeah. can tell you at the annual town meeting, we approved the purchase of two vehicles. Uh, both Ford Explorers, one for the fire chief and one for the police department. And the car that was just referenced, that's the one that was purchased. There's been no approved vehicles since the annual town meeting. So the one that was just referenced is the one that was approved mm -hmm. at annual town meeting. Okay, so I thought that happened when Chief Harding was here. I remember yeah. saying to him, I like your, <laughs> your new car. And he said, you paid for it. Mm -hmm. well, Are we talking about this? <laughs> it's probably a different vehicle because it's been a number of years since Tim's mm. Tom's been our uh, police chief. And, you know, we oh. have three or four vehicles. And so we're rolling them over. We're right. getting uh -huh. new ones probably every two, three years. But, but this also is not the purview of the assessment. Thank you. That, Thank you, George. That would be the thing. I'm happy to help. Yeah, if I know the answer, yeah. I'm happy to give it to you. Okay. So I think we're back, Howard, to choosing the time for the next meeting. Okay, so um, 
So when Leslie, when when do you when do you want when do you think we should have a meeting? Do you, meet, uh, do you want to meet in a month? I think if you don't mind all the paperwork, and I don't think it's going to be, who knows? I don't think it's ever going to be this full again until fall. <laughs> I hope, but I low battery. I think that that's fine with me and i'll let you guys know if something urgent that bell and tells me uh oh i didn't think of this what what do you think is is it is it okay are you saying we not meet again until the fall or because no I, no i'm saying uh, if you don't mind getting fifteen thousand documents for one meeting but i don't even think it'll be that complicated yes once a month is plenty yeah. I mean, I find it helpful sort of to get into the rhythm of what what this is. It's 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 a really interesting because it's, it's there's a lot happening and I feel like I'm learning a lot. So I, I would appreciate meeting monthly until it keeps us from getting rusty too. We just kind of keeps our mindset focused. Yes. Yep. Our minds focused. You may find over the summer it's not as necessary. Uh, I'm just going month by month myself. Just. I know that Ellen and I have to work on, we keep getting these inquiries from VADAR and that's going to be her new billing system. And Vader. we promised ourselves next week or when or the second week of April, we've got to buckle down on that. Okay. So maybe the 19th of April would work? 19th. It's a holiday? Is it a holiday or no? No. It's a Monday. It's a Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Monday, Monday will be the holiday. We'll probably be yeah. the marathon. Yeah. And taxes Wednesday. will be due on the, on Tuesday. Right. <laughs> and are we talking 6.30 p.m. again? That's Always. That, that works for me. Does that work for other people? Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. How so Wednesday, the, Wednesday mm -hmm. the, the 19th, 19th of April. Yeah. Wednesday the nineteenth is fine for me. Perfect. People want to see that. Yes, yeah, that's fine okay. for me. I'll put that in my calendar right now. All right. Yeah, me too. Okay. I I I I I I I I. Oi. Yes. <laughs> Oi. And I'll I'll let you know if I find out that there's something I don't know about, <laughs> but it okay. seems like that should be fine. Perfect. All right. Okay. So I'll move to adjourn. A second. Carbon night sign. Sign up. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank Good night. you. Good night.